Softland 2012 ships with thousands of symbols that give you a 2D representation to assist with the design work, but also a 3D model to help you with the animation or still life models that you may create for presentation. While there are many symbols in there, the time may arise when you would want to actually import a symbol from a third party source. Google 3D Warehouse uh, offers a tremendous list or access to symbols that are available online. In the case, using the search model, you can go in and type in what it is you're looking for. In this case, an outdoor fire pit, and even drill down to manufacture specific items. Using the 3D view, here it can be seen that the fire pit can be rotated and reviewed as far as textures and surfaces. Other models are even suggested so that uh, you can go through until you find exactly what it is you're looking for for import into SoftPlan. Selecting the download model will prompt you with the various options that are available and in this case Google SketchUp version 7 can be used and saved down to the desktop into a folder uh, or location that of your choosing. Once the file has been downloaded to your desktop or to the folder, you can then use SoftPlan Symbol Wizard to import the three-dimensional symbol and simultaneously create the 2D version. Selecting File, System Options, and System Library will give you access to the Configure Library uh, dialog. And in this case now, scrolling the list of symbols, a custom library can be inserted or added to the landscaping folder. Here, we'll simply type in Fire Tables and select OK. Once the library has been created, using the symbol wizard, we can follow the prompts to create the symbol. We'll begin by typing in the name of the symbol. Once this has been entered, select Next, and the prompt will ask you if the symbol is viewable on screen. In this case, it's no. We next want to import the 3D symbol that will be linked to the 2D symbol inside the, the landscaping library called Fire Pits. And so using the Windows navigation, we can go to where the symbol is located on our desktop and then either create a new library or store the 3D symbol in one of our existing libraries that are there. Select OK. The Configure Symbol Wizard will give you a three-dimensional preview and allow you to go through now and orient the symbol in the correct direction. In this case, the symbol is actually oriented incorrectly, so we will answer no that the views are not correct. At the prompt, we can now choose where the top of the symbol is, followed by Next, the front of the symbol, and next and so on until the symbol is completely oriented properly. Once all of the views have been verified for the incoming three-dimensional symbol, a preview of the textures can be seen. Next will allow us to move on to overriding the existing dimensions or simply using the manufacturer's suggested dimensions when the symbol was created. From within the wizard now we can reference that this symbol when drawn will go to the ground, whether or not it ha its options will, are going to be enabled, and finally to not extract it in elevation. Lastly, because we did not create a two-dimensional version of the symbol, we will prompt the program or the configure symbol wizard to auto-generate one for us, and it will be displayed in the symbol preview based on the top-down view. Selecting Next, we can hit Finish and insert the symbol into the model. From within 3D, we'll select Draw followed by Symbol. 
we can then scroll to the library, selecting the fire tables, and seeing the preview of the symbol. We'll click to insert the symbol on the patio, and as you can see at this stage, as you move your cursor about, you will rotate on 15 degree increments. When the symbol is in the correct orientation, meaning drawing from back towards front, we can click. The symbol will be inserted onto the patio with all of the three-dimensional textures and the shapes as created by the original artist. At this stage, we can pan about and take a look at the symbol from various perspectives, zooming it up onto the drawing screen. Regardless of the complexity of the symbol, SoftPlan Symbol Wizard will allow you to import the three-dimensional symbols for use within the program, enhancing the three-dimensional models output for you and the client.